Hi everyone, it's Bonnie from www.bonniestamp.com. I'm here today to share with you some cards I created using two of our stamp sets. One is the Sorry for Everything stamp set that is part of our annual catalog. And our second stamp set is the Painted Harvest stamp set. It's a very popular one amongst um, customers. What I will say that this stamp set is being carried over, but it is currently part of a bundle in our holiday catalog. It is bundled with a uh, punch that coordinates with this leaf. So if you purchase it now before January 2nd as a bundle, you save 10%. After January 2nd, it will still be available, but the items will be sold separately. So for today's cards, I chose to recreate this one. This is, just to let you know, Marina Miss, Knight of Navy, a Chocolate Chip, and Old Olive. The other two cards, I was just experimenting with some colors. This one is Crush Curry with Soft Suede, and then Chocolate Chip in the middle with some Old Olive in my leaves. And this one I made extra special that when you open it up, it has a little bit of design on the inside. Um, the other card I created, and it's a vertical card, it is in Flirty Flamingo, Berry Burst, The Chocolate Chip, and The Old Olive. And this one I haven't finished completely, but I don't know if I will do the inside because I can still write on this and see. Usually on the darker printed cards, I'll make sure that I include some kind of paper on the inside to write on. I did add some linen thread, of course, to my cards because it just needed something. And if you're wondering about this awesome background paper, that is our, our wood textured stamp -a stack that we currently have in our annual catalog. Now, whenever I'm using the Painted Harvest stamp set, it happens to be a photopolymer stamp set, so the images on the blocks are like see-through, as you can see. And it sometimes is helpful to use what we have as our piercing mat. I'm just gonna slip this under my paper so that I can get started. Now, I've already cut my card base, just to let you know I'm using Knight of Navy um, as my card base. The, it's been cut, it is, excuse me, <laughs> five and a half by eight and a half, and then I scored it at four and a quarter. My lovely design of series paper, this is the wood one that I've chosen, is cut at five and a quarter by four. So the first color I'm gonna start with is Marina Mist. It is the lighter of the shades. I'm gonna open up my ink pad. I'm gonna just move my cards out of the way because I always seem to mess up everything. I'm going to, oops, maybe move this here. Okay, I'm gonna just ink that up. And, come on. Okay, and I am going to just press and left. You are gonna see, let me just zoom in just a tiny bit. It is a little on the light side, the Marina Mist, that's okay. By the time we finish putting everything on here, it all comes together. So I'm just lightly tapping. I know you can't really see. I don't know where to put my ink pad here because that mat is kind of in an awkward position here. Okay, so we're gonna put that there. And I'm gonna add one more up here. Now I will say I have struggled a little bit with the um, textured wood textured paper here. So I embraced it today and I'm very happy with my results. I will say I definitely love this color combination with the crushed curry and the soft suede. I did try pumpkin pie and I didn't like it so that got wiped out. Um, I just like how subtle it looks and how homey it looks and I don't know, it just really um, caught my eye. And then I decided, I've done it so many times, this stamp set with the yellows, that I really wanted to try some color. So that's why I chose the blue family. Now the Knight of Navy is gonna be my next choice. So we'll move that color out of the way. And now I will tell you, my ink pads are well loved. And we do a lot of techniques or watercoloring and that's why it looks like that. Cause we use that as our little paint palette. So. I don't want you to think my ink pads leak or anything. So now I'm gonna stamp over. Now this image isn't an exact stamp over. The lines are a little jagged. This is a little jagged in the middle. Yes, um, I can't see really through the middle anymore because of the dark color. I'm just gonna stamp and press. And look, just so you can see, it's okay. It's not lined up because I'm gonna cover that with the center of the flower. I'm not gonna stress, there's no wrong in art. And then I'm gonna stamp over this. So you can see I'm not a perfect stamper. 
But that's okay, because I'd rather not be perfect. Too much pressure to be perfect. I'm just switching my paper over so that I can line it up. Now I will say, I don't know if I can zoom in and if you can see it, maybe I'll hold it up just a little bit here, but I just hope it's in focus. It kind of goes out a little bit here in the circle. Yep, look, pink ink from before on my fingers, right there. So I noticed on my stamp, let me make sure it's focused, this kind of pokes out too. So that's my guide. It's not a great one, right? But it pretty much works, right? That was a pretty good one right there. Okay, so I'm gonna close up that because I definitely am one to put inks in the wrong colors. So my next color is chocolate chip. Ooh, let me zoom out a little bit again so you guys can see. Gonna take the dot from, now this dot again is not a perfect match for the middle, but again, it's okay. So we're just gonna press down. Again, the dot kind of goes out up here, so I can see that over here. So I'm gonna go like that. And I'm going to go like that. I'm gonna turn it again and go like that. So look, I have all my sunflowers are almost done. There is a tiny little stamp. Hopefully you can see that. Let me see if I zoom in. Bring it down so it zooms in. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, okay, sorry about that. Um, it's got little dots. So you just press lightly, press lightly, lightly into your ink pad. You don't wanna smush it into your ink pad. You smush into your ink pad, it gets all over your clear blocks, makes a mess on your paper. So no heavy hand stamping. <gasps> so far so good, right? Oh, I'm gonna take the dots and I'm just gonna randomly stamp on this wood texture. I'm telling you today was the first time I literally took out this wood textured paper and stamped on it. I've had it for months. I've created some chairs with it. I've used it for something else, but never actually stamped on it because I was afraid that it wouldn't come out. And look at how pretty it looks. My next item I'm going to stamp, of course, are the leaves. And we're gonna use Old Olive for that. Now, all of this information will be on my website, all the products that I used. I always include a product list at the bottom for to help shopping online easier in case I've inspired you today to create your own card, which I hope I have, and I love feedback. So if there's something you're looking to create, please let me know because I'm always open for designing cards or doing something. Okay, I think that's it. That's all I want. I think though, I need another dot right here. It looked bare anywhere else. No, we're all good. Too much sometimes is too much. Okay, so my next step is my sentiment. Now the sari is quite large. So to make sure I ink it, I'm going to turn it like this and I'm gonna take my ink pad to my stamp. Now you will see it kind of has gotten on the edges. I'm okay with that. I know not to press too hard. And plus this mat definitely gives me some resistance on my table. So I'm not gonna do it straight. As you could see on these, I did them all on an angle because I have a lot of space there and I just don't wanna be so up and down. So I'm just gonna put it on an angle and press. It's an even press down. And then I lift and I have my sari. Now my next stamp, I know it's not like the greatest occasion, right? It's not like happy birthday, but we need these kind of cards. So it says, sorry for your loss. And, okay, I'm just making sure I'm straight here. And I am going to stamp right like that. And I did it. Always love when that happens, right? So my card is done. I'm so excited now I can put it on my card stock. I close up my ink pads, put everything off to the side. And I'm going to take our linen thread. I, I am one that always uses ribbon. I'm sure I've said it a thousand times. I just like ribbon. I think it finishes off. However, this card I just feel is so like earthy and warm that ribbon would just be too much of a wow factor. So the linen I felt was the perfect 
touch to finish my card. And all I'm gonna do, this is how I do most of my ribbons on my cards, is I cut a strand, and I'm gonna cut another strand. I'm using our paper snips, in case you didn't know. And I'm gonna turn this over, and that's the back side you can see of the wood grain. I'm gonna just put some fast fuse right there. I am going to take my strands and I'm gonna go like that and kind of put them on a diagonal. Let me zoom out just a little so. And then I'm gonna take this one, oops, take that one and I am going to wrap it around the card. Let me just push this out just a little bit. See, and it just adds just a little bit of texture to my card. Now, turn it over again. I'm just gonna finish fast fusing around the edges of my card, right? And then I am going to place it gently onto my card front. My trick, always turn it over and go like this so you don't smear your beautiful stamping, right? And we're almost done with the front of the card. I'm gonna take my bow, which rule of thumb, let me show you in my hand, I have two strands. I find it so much easier with the linen thread if you take two strands for you to make a bow. It's more of a grip. I'm gonna take our glue dots. So I'm gonna kiss it to the glue dot. Turn my card and this is how I finish the top of my card. So what do you think guys? Is that a good card? Now granted, sorry for your loss. You could easily change that out with thinking of you, a cute little happy birthday, whatever you wish you can um, do. And you know what we're gonna do though? I'm not finished. I did cut the card stock. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. So I have an inside layer piece because it's a dark card and we have a few more minutes. Hope I haven't lost you. And this gives you another opportunity to see how I stamp. So now this is Sahara Sand. I'm gonna place it on the inside. And as you can see, I've cut it. It's at five and a quarter by four. Remember, all my layers are a quarter of an inch in from the outside edges. Good? Okay. So I don't have to worry. My stamps are still dirty, so I don't have to worry. So I'm gonna open up the Marina Mist again. We're gonna take this. Maybe I won't do as many, I'll just do three. One, we'll do two, and we'll do a little guy up here, three. I'm gonna open up the Knight of Navy, which is the darker shade. The darker shade always goes to the smaller detailed piece. And I am going to, oops, stamp on that. I always seem to miss that one. <laughs> Stamp on this one. See, that one, it's always that first one. And let's see. Stamp on that one. Perfect. Not really, but it's good. <laughs> now I'm gonna take my crumb cake. Oh, sorry, chocolate chip. It's still CC, right? I'm gonna put that right in there. So you can't tell that I made a mistake there. And we'll put that right there. And we'll put that right there. We'll add some inside dots and inside dots to the center of that sunflower. And the last color we need. So look at how pretty it looks on Sahara sand, right? So if you don't happen to have that wood textured stamp a stack, which I know you're out, you're gonna go buy right now. I'm gonna go visit my online store, you're gonna check out the year-end clearance and the clearance rack, and the Stampin' Blends. We have so many good things right now for you guys to purchase and put on your Christmas list and Santa can bring to you. Gonna add some dots. So now, I'm just letting you know my video from start to finish might be close to 15 minutes to make the one card. If you were to mass produce and cut beforehand, you can finish, I'm sure, numerous cards. Of course, I'm going a little bit slower because I want to make sure I've touched everything and I'm telling you the measurements and all that other good stuff. So look, there's my card and there's the inside. So now I have plenty of room to write my little saying to my friend or family member or to whomever.
I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to go to my online store to shop your supplies and I definitely will have uh, my product list posted with this video. Have a great day. Oh, sorry, before I say have a great day. Oops, sorry. In case you wanna see the other colors again. That's the Berry Burst with the flir Flirty Flamingo and that's Crush Curry with Soft Suede. Now I'll say have a great day.